I'm going to show you how the search view feature works within Async Gadget Pro. The search view, it can be toggled on and off through our main interface here. And you can also turn on or off individual checks for the restrictions, hazardous and meltable, if you don't want to have some or any of those visible. And I've got a Amazon search here for just something generic like Lego space. I wanted to see what would come up for Legos in space. And with our search results, you can see Async Gadget pops up here underneath each product and gives us some key data points. So starting at the top and working our way down, we've got our restriction check here. So red means I cannot sell it with the current Amazon account that I'm logged into. If you see a door here and here, you are going to need to log into your Amazon account. Once you're logged in, refresh the page and it will show you these icons here. So red means I cannot sell it. See if there's any on here that I can sell. Probably not because the Amazon account that I'm logged into does not have Lego ungated in it. Anyhow, next up is the restricted or the hazmat check, excuse me. So a green means the product is not hazmat. And if this were a red skull, it would mean that the product is considered hazardous by Amazon standards. Then we've got the meltable check. Obviously, no Legos are probably going to be meltable. So those should all be green right now, but we've got a green thermometer. And if you were on a chocolate page, uh, it would show you red if the product is considered meltable. Now we've got our sales rank and category in the next cell below that. So this product here is 7,115 in toys and games. Then we've got a buy box button uh, right here that shows you whether or not there is a buy box. If it is green, then there is a buy box. Currently, buy box is $50.89. I just clicked on that. Oh, it didn't open, so we're good. This one does not have a buy, bo buy box here. If you hover over the buy box cell, you will see a price come up. $83.99 is what the current lowest offer for an FBA offer is on this product. And we'll get that loaded up here just to double check. It is only checking new condition and FBA sellers. If it's if there's no FBA offers, then it's going to show you a zero there because it does not check FBM offers yet. And then we've got our sold by Amazon check here. So if we can find, here we go, this product is sold by Amazon, so that gives you a green check. If it is not sold by Amazon at the current moment, it will give you the red check or the red X. Under that, we've got our current offer count. So this currently has 43 FBA offers and 31 FBM offers. And that, again, is only counting new. This tool is made for online arbitrage sellers mainly, and we're not going to be typically selling used products. So I did not add that to the features on this. And we've got our ASIN cell here. So if you click on the ASIN, it will copy that ASIN for you. And depending on what settings you have in the interface on the inter on the settings tab here, it will copy it as a URL, or if you have it toggled off, it will just copy it as a text. Uh, so if you copy it as a URL and you put it into a Google Sheet or something like that, it will be a clickable link. Now let's check this here, 83.99. We'll check our FBA offers. New price, lowest here, ships from Amazon, so that is FBA $38.99 is going to be the lowest price. And one of the benefits to that is when you are in a storefront and you're doing some manual storefront stocking, we'll just open this website, or this storefront here, Galactic Hub LLC. We'll let that get loaded and I'll show you when you go to their products. Let me try and find, there's that product right there. You're also going to get the ASIN gadget search view to show up within storefronts here, which is pretty nice because once it does load up the offer count, you can see that this current seller has it for $95, but the actual lowest FBA price for a new condition is $83.99. So that'll save you some time thinking if you search for this and you find it for a good deal and it's selling at 95, but it's not actually selling at 95 because that is just the storefront here that's their offer price. The actual price, lowest FBA price, and new condition is $38.99. We'll just go ahead and stay on this storefront here, and I'll show you what some of these lower sell buttons do here. 
the G is just a Google search. It's going to Google search the title of that product. So you can click on it and it searches the exact title that Amazon has it listed for. And this is searching google.com. One thing that you can change in your settings here on Ace and Gadget is you can change it from Google to Google Shopping. So if you do that, let me go ahead and get this refreshed. You do have to refresh your page after changing a setting on the settings tab for it to take effect. But if you click on that now, it will take you to Google Shopping. It will search Google Shopping for that title. So right now we can see that that product is $69.99 at Target. Could even get it maybe a little bit cheaper on somewhere like eBay. So potential for some profit there. And that is probably why there's so many sellers on it. This button here, the Keepa icon, will just open the product in Keepa.com for you. So you can do some deeper dive research if you want. Now, getting to some of the meat and potatoes of why Ace and Gadget Pro is so unique here. The cart icon right here is going to go into the product listing. It's going to pull the 43 FBA and 31 FBM offers storefront URLs. So I'll get that started here. If you click out of this pop-up that comes in here, it will terminate it. So we got 62 um, storefronts, which isn't exactly correct. So we might have some a bug or maybe some FBM offers that aren't uh, registering on there. But we pull up that CSV that it downloaded and we're going to get a bunch of data points such as store seller name, storefront, the link to that product, and the seller ID. So now you have a list of 63 storefronts that you can go through and manually storefront stock if you want. And that is grabbing the current offers from that product. Now the gear icon here goes a little bit deeper. Instead of just getting the storefronts, it gets all of the ASINs from those storefronts. So those 60, what was it, 62 FB or 62 storefront URLs that we just got here, it's going to go into each one and it's going to scrape them and get their current ASINs. This will take a little bit of time, but the good news is that you can do multiple of these at a time if you want. If you wanted to go in here and open up another storefront, you could do it again with any product. Um, and you can do it right from this page here, so you don't even have to go into the product. So it's scraping the pages of this store right here. And you can see that I do have two of them going at once. I'm not going to wait for this to go through the whole time. At any point, you can download the current data that it has captured. Um, but if you close out of this, it will stop that, terminate that scan. Here is the results that we got. So we've just got a ton of ASINs, 305 ASINs that it had in the short amount of time that it was scraping. Um, and again, those are getting the current offers and uh, the storefront URLs and or the ASINs themselves. And that is how you use the search view feature within Ace and Gadget Pro. If you guys have any questions, um, be sure to contact me here and report any bugs that you find so we can get those fixed as quick as possible.